In a hangar at Schiphol Airport, researchers with the Netherlands Aviation Safety Board scour the wreckage for clues to explain the crash of Flight 433. They need to know if the plane suffered a flight control malfunction. We want to exclude all possible factors that could have contributed to the accident. Uh, let's start with the rudder. The investigation team knows the plane veered to the right during the landing attempt, but they don't know why. In the air, pilots move the rudder left and right to control the plane's yaw, or horizontal rotation. It's a critical control service for helping them line up with the runway. Investigators want to see if the rudder malfunctioned just before landing. They need to examine the rudder locking device. It's used to lock the rudder in place to prevent it from moving in a heavy wind while on the ground. Did the rudder lock somehow engage during flight? causing a catastrophic loss of control. Can I take a look? A rudder lock, if it would be still on, would certainly degrade the authority of the rudder. So you check that. They study the rudder components. They look for any sign of a malfunction in the gust lock system. There's nothing wrong with it. The lock is fine. We didn't find anything wrong with the gust lock. Further analysis reveals that all of the plane's other flight control surfaces were also working properly. Flaps 20. Flaps 20. The cause of the deadly disaster lies somewhere else. <laughs> 